Learn. In this video, we will see about how what is web scrapping, how on a project for uh, searching in web browser, and how to save, download, or how to download files from request module. So, web scrapping. Before seeing what web scrapping is, we'll see. Uh, before uh, going to the main topic, we'll see what and all we can see from web scrapping. So, web browser. We all know web browser is a uh, application where we can access for web pages. All web pages is accessed through web browser. Uh, so web browser comes from Python and opens opening a web browser to specific page through Python code is also possible with web browser module. Request is a module which is used to download the files and web pages from internet. Beautiful Soup is one more module where we can pass the HTML the format that web pages are written in. Next one is Selenium. Selenium is a model which is used to launch and control the web browsers from Python code and Selenium is able to fill the forms and simulate mouse clicks also from the web browser Means, uh, from the python code we can access the web browser like how we access normally next is we'll see a simple project how to use web browser open one particular link from web browser and provide input to the web browser through as a command line or through uh, pipe clip module next here in web browser web browser is a module and open is a function to to launch a new web browser to a specific url we have to give web browser dot open before uh, using web browser module we have to import web browser so here is a project what and all we have to do is to get a uh, the project is used for getting a web page of google maps and specifying a address from command prompt the address from command prompt should go to the command let it be from command prompt or clipboard should should take as input for google maps which is open through a web browser dot open function and locate that address. So this means we have to read the command from command line argument or read the command from clipboard and call web browser open function to open the web browser. So steps involved here is figure out the URL, handle the command line arguments, handle the clipboard content and launch the browser. So I'll show you the project here so here is the project in the first step we have to figure figure out what the command line is means what the uh, input for the a link we are providing is and then to get the input from command line argument or piper clip module or from uh, sorry with these inputs you have to open the web browser for google maps so first is import web browser for web browser dot open functions this module for uh, using command line arguments piper clip module for using piper clip paste to get the data from clipboard so if the length of uh, system arguments is greater than one then get the address from uh, clipboard uh, get the address from command prompt by joining it with joining a space with command line argument sorry next one is else uh, get the address from piper clip paste so browser dot open with the link for opening the google maps is pasted with the address either through system arguments or through piper clip paste 
so if we run this module then it will it should locate to the it should open the web browser and locate bangalore so bangalore was the data copied from web browser and it is locating so this is about the project web browser module so next one is downloading files from the web with request module request is a module which is used for easy download of files from web without having to worry about complete it issue such as network error or connection problems and data compression so if you have a web browser open in your system you don't need to worry about any of these issues just using import request module we can download the web pages so to use request module we have to install the request module through command prompt wherever the python is installed from that link in the command prompt if we enter plp install request with a access of internet file request module will be downloaded so downloading a web page with request.get function so request.get is a function from request model we can make use of get function by providing url to the function to install the sorry to download the request so import request then we assign with a request.get object so res is a variable which will hold the data of which will download the data and keep in it so request.get is passed with a link so type res class request dot if you would see what type of res is then it will have a request dot modules response stored in it so res is <coughs> a object for class request dot modules dot response res status code is equal to res code okay which is checking is the download complete res status code is a object which is comparing request codes okay means it downloading the request data is okay or not if it is true then download is successful length res dot text will get you the res text length next print res dot text with 250 characters will print from 0 to 250 characters whatever is downloaded to the res attribute from request dot get function next one is uh, checking for errors if the request dot get function has used so to do that we generally we can make use of request dot get dot ok or there is one simpler way to check the success call with the help of function raise for status method if you raise for status for the request after the request dot get function and by using the uh, object for request dot get res res or any name given for that request dot get object res dot uh, sorry uh, for example in this uh, example we'll see res dot raise for status if it raises for any status then there is an error with respect to the raised status so track back mo track back will give you the raised status like request dot guest exception http error client error not found so if there is no any trace back and uh, given after raised for status then request means request dot get is successful so we can make use of raise for error with try and catch so that it doesn't raise any trace back instead it gives you the output based on the error what you are producing so saving a files whatever you downloaded with request.get to the hardware sorry to the hard disk request.get will get you the data means res equal to request.get will get uh, download the data from the link what you have provided if you raise for a status with the help of res object if there is no any traceback it means if there is no error in downloading play file is 
which is open for uh, open with one file name like remo dot romeo and julia dot text in write mode so we can write the data from rs object to the play file and we can store that file means whatever the file you are opening and writing the data from rs object will be stored in hard drive for chunks in res iter contact thousand so res iteration contents per thousand play file dot write play file is a file what we have opened in write mode and dot write is a function used to write the data for this for loop using the chunks it will write the data from res object to the play file once you close the play file then the file is saved with the data so i hope you understood the topic thank you